Hey, I'm Randy Allen, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a build and release offer. And you need to watch this so that you can save time and learn how to create an offer. And you need to learn how to create an offer so that you can make more money. You can learn right now by continuing to watch this training. Okay, let's jump straight into it. Today, we're gonna to be, um, I'm gonna show you how to create a build and release offer. And uh, we're going to just use e-com for an example, just because uh, the e-commerce is a saturated niche. A lot of people going after it and it is a very profitable niche. And if you can um, create a good offer in this niche and deliver on it, you'll be able to like make a lot of money. <clears throat> so I like to start with the more difficult, um, the difficult first and then work my way down to what I consider to be easy, um, a easy niche. There is no easy niche. Some niches are just not as uh, saturated um, of course not with the build and release offer yet but um, so let's jump into it so in order to create a build and release offer you would have to have already done some prior research on the company and of course you're gonna jump on the sales call and see exactly what the um, challenges are and problems are okay so let's just assume from our sales call I uh, gathered that this particular brand they had a uh, low um, conversions were low the low engagement um, mediocre and uh, leads have um, been dried up and the traffic slowed down. And um, so we're going to utilize SEO and conversion optimization strategies. Uh, we're going to promise to transform their online presence. And with our results, we're going to, our results that we promise to deliver on, that's going to be a flood of qualified organic website traffic and a dramatically improved user experience. And mostly conversion, most importantly, conversion rates that align with the uh, brand's uh, highest expectation. And the bottom line is that uh, everybody want to get more revenue from their website, okay? And that's what we're going to help the brand do. And uh, again, again, this is based on a sales call that we're going to assume that we just had or that we're having with them. Um, too many, too many of these brands. On a side note, they fall into this this way of thinking that once they create a site, then it's just done, it's over with, and you you have to continue to build your site. You have to continue to optimize it, just as you have to build your company because things are changing. Okay, so when the company start getting results from our build and release, um, we're going to start improving upon those results. Uh, we're going to review uh, analytics. We're going to deploy optimization tools, and we're going to um, track their rankings, and watch conversions multiply, all right? Um, we're going to take advantage of this little opportunity, every little opportunity we see, whether it's um, a website optimi optimizing the website, whether it is um, coming up with some more um, affiliate program, or whatever little opportunity we find, um, we, we're going to try to make the biggest potential um, with impact on these little opportunities that we got to make things better for them and we're going to perform tests uh analyze our results we're going to rewrite content craft um persuasive call to actions for them and finally we're going to measure we're going to analyze and then we're going to optimize again and again because optimizations never end okay so again assuming that you know the problem two main problems of course is going to be website optimization uh many many uh with the growth the continued growth of all these online uh, businesses uh, this stuff requires expertise in areas such as website optimization and digital marketing okay and and that's where we come in at so we're going we're gonna to tackle these two right here okay uh, let me scroll down a little bit let's see here okay so what the first thing we're gonna start off with is the website optimization this is going to be our first service that the first problem that we're going to solve. All right. We're going to optimize the website. Okay. We're going to work on these three things. Uh, the website usability, how easy to use, how fast is it? Let's, and then the performance and the conversion rates. Okay. That's the first thing we're going to do. The website usability. Okay. And I'll show you how to fulfill on all of these in another video. Just comment fulfill or contact me and i'll show you how to fulfill on these all right right now I'll just giving you the the um the deliverables okay so website usability performance and uh conversion rates that's what we first thing we put it for on our website optimization and the second thing with the website opt optimization you can analyze their website you're going to recommend improvements and you're going to implement these improvements as well 
uh, with regard to their uh, user experience, UX, search engine optimization, and the conversion rate, CRO, conversion rate optimization, to enhance customer engagement and sales. All right. What we're going to enhance? Customer engagement and sales. To enhance customer engagement and sales. Very important. All right. And then the, the, sec the second area, which is going to be B. It's going to be the digital marketing strategy. Uh, many of these online uh, econ brands, they struggle with, uh, first thing they struggle with is creating effective digital marketing strategies to target their target, to uh, to reach their target audience. So we're going to help them with that. So the first thing we'll do, create an effective dig digital marketing strategy, all right, for them to reach their target audience. Secondly, we're going to help them identify what are the most suitable channels for their um for their brand, most suitable channels. Meaning, is it going to be TikTok? Is it going to be uh, Instagram? Is it going to be Google? Uh, whatever it is, all right? We're going to identify what is the best channel for them to be marketing on, the most suitable channel for their product and their services, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to create some compelling messaging, all right? And that is everything from, you know, the ad copy, all right, VSL, video sales letter, um, all of the text message, SMS, um, the newsletter, all of it. We're going to take, we're going to go across their plat. We're going to go across uh, every, everything that they're, everything that they're doing, everything that we're implementing all the way from. We're going to look at their branding. We're going to look at their, you know, their, their, their position in the market. And we're going to go ahead and start create some, craft some compelling messages for them. All right. And that goes right along with creating a, a unique post, high quality and informative content. Okay. Again, it can be newsletter, blog. Uh, we're also going to do some retargeting, retarget the audience they already have. Personalization, uh, emails. All the emails and text messages are going to be personalized. We're going to run some uh, social media campaigns and contests. Of course, we already talked about SEO. And if necessary, we'll even put an uh, affiliate program in there. All right. And we'll leverage, uh, employ some uh, UGC. And we can use a, a affiliate program with some UGC creators. All right. And we're going to uh, also utilize, um, leverage Google Shopping, which is... Uh, doing pretty good right now ppc advertisement is always good we can go in there get the target audience craft the right message for them test test a couple of uh, ppcs on google and uh we're gonna cr create a new down sell or upsell let's look at whether or not they're doing some down sales and upsells in there and once we got all that implemented we're gonna optimize their advertising budget we're gonna figure out uh, what percent do we want to throw on uh, paid? We might, let's just say, we might throw um, 15%. We might do 15% on Google, right? Uh, we might do 20%. Um, uh, well, we might do another 15% uh, on um, influencer marketing, for an example. And um, uh, we might do... Uh, you know, we might do um, another 10% on TikTok, etc. cetera, all right? So when we talk about optimizing the uh, budget, we're going to put the most money. I'm sorry. No, we're not going to put the most money. What we're going to do is find all of the winning ads, and then we're going to dump more money into them. We're going to double up. Let's say if we're running three uh, ads on Instagram and only one of them doing good, we're going to get we're gonna dump more money into that one that's doing good, get rid of those other two, and we're going to test out on another two. And the same thing for uh, all the other platforms, all right? So we're going to optimize their advertising budget for them. Inventory management, all right? There are two, two or three things we can do here. Most um, of the platform, most of the brands that use uh, Shopify, are they actually have an inventory management on there. And um, if, if that is effective and efficient for the brand, then just keep it. But if not, we'll go ahead, and if they're not using that, system whatever system they use and they don't have to be using shopify but we're going to customize one we'll build a customized one for them or we can just buy uh buy one like you know pay a subscription for a uh inventory management system software 
AI. We can implement AI to do it. Okay. And then lastly, the customer experience engagement. And that and that's where we can put in chat bots, um, update, you know, to update them on their orders. You can create a WhatsApp group to just make everything personalized. You can, you know, survey them and find out uh, you know, what the clients want, what the, what the customer base want, what they need, what they liked about uh, the process, what could make things better. So we also, we always want to, you know, be in tune with what the needs of the clients are, okay? I thought I had some more on that um, customer relations, on uh, customer experience enhancement, but a lot of it have to do with, you know, the way the website is built out. We just want to make sure that, you know, we can use bots or, um, you know, a chat widget on a website to make sure that the orders are being tracked, the person is being contacted when it's shipped, when it's delivered, and just keep them informed. And also, you can use personalization, kind of like create a profile, like a customer profile, and then segment segment your audience off, and then start sending personalized message and recommendations for new products. So that's kind of what the customer experience um, is about. I'll go deeper on those in another video, but I just wanted to show you guys. Um, how easy it is and how fast you can just, you know, get on the sales call and create a 10K offer. I would, I would just build a release right here. I would, I would, that would be $10,000 uh, minimum what I would charge. Depending on the brand size and how much revenue the brand is bringing in, um, you could probably easily, you know, charge more than 10K. But you want to be dealing with a brand that, that has money and that has the potential to make a lot more money. All right. So they're like maybe they're doing uh, over $100,000 a month. They can afford uh, ten thousand dollars to boost them over from a uh, hundred k a month. So, uh, you know, even to boost them from a hundred k a month to a million a month is is worth it. Okay, and um, utilizing these tactics, these tools, uh, you can easily be able to do that. And I'm not gonna say easy. Everything has some hard work. It's hard work, but um, if you got guys, if you need help implementing this, and um, if you um, want to uh, see more about this. For an example, I'm going to be doing one on the ten, top, top 10 niches for build and release, at least the top 10 niches. I think I'm going to be breaking down offers. And then I'm also going to break down a video on how to price your build and release offer. Okay. Uh, if you guys want me to do that, just comment below, hit more or hit uh, comment that you want to, you know, just comment whatever you guys want. And I'll, I'll be sure to make some videos on that. And I'm making this video because this was also, um, request it so continue to watch my live trainings guys there's going to be plenty more to come i'm on a journey from 10k to 100k a month build and release all right thank you see you guys later